Before you get started, decide on the story that you'd like to tell. A good way to do this is to pick the music that you want to play before you start filming. Next, you have to figure out when and where you're going to shoot. Ideally, you'd pick a day that isn't too sunny, so you get a flattering, even light. To avoid this issue, try filming early in the morning, or at golden hour, when the lighting isn't too harsh. As for the location, try to pick a backdrop that makes sense with your outfit. Or just simply find a location that inspires you. When you get to your location, film some b-roll to give your lookbook some flair and to add some context. If you're lucky enough to have roped someone into filming for you, explain to them what your vision is and give them an idea of what shots you'd like. You definitely want to get some close-ups of your torso, bottom half, shoes, and any other detail that you want to highlight. And of course, you need a couple of full body shots as well. Also, make sure you don't zoom in too much, you might lose some resolution along the way. Once you get the shots of your outfit, get some clips of yourself interacting with the environment. This makes the video look less stilted, and adds a nice, human touch to the lookbook. Something that's fun that's built into some smartphones is the slow-mo function in the camera app. Use this to create dramatic effects when you're moving or flipping your hair. Something that will really upgrade the quality of your smartphone cinematography is a gimbal. If you're willing to invest some money into one of these, you'll be rewarded with some super smooth shots that look especially cinematic when using slow motion. If you don't have anyone to film you, you can make a tripod for your smartphone using a paper cup. Buying a camera lens for your iPhone can add some intrigue to your footage as well. There are a couple of different lenses that you can buy, but using a wide angle is my favorite. 